Hi everyone. Today we will talk about monitoring a network using Aruba Central. So here I am logged in into the Aruba Central homepage, and at the global level, you have so many options like network health, WAN health, summary, Wi-Fi connectivity, and AI insights. So now let's deep dive into each of these options and how they help us monitor a network. At the global level, you can drill down into a site with the potential issues, with some basic information like the number of devices present in a particular site, uh, the number of clients present in it, etc. So now let's go ahead and see what the summary tab has to offer for us. So here in the summary, we can see information about the basic bandwidth usage per network. We can also see the number of clients co client counts per network with respect to time. So here, we would be able to filter it with respect to time, let's say three hours, one day, one week, or one month. Moving on, one can also see the AI insights that it has to offer. So here we have some basic AI insights, which is nothing but AOLCX switches that have excessive port flaps. So it will be easy for the admin to drill down to the particular switch and to the particular port using the information or AI insights given here. So if I click on the site impactor, you will be able to see which particular site is impacted with the uh, port flap issue. I am further able to drill down to the particular port and the particular switch, which is my 6400 chassis switch and the respective port number. And also we can get some basic information about the client details. So this is one AI insight that Aruba Central has to offer us, which helps us in monitoring the network. So as we saw the information on a global level, now we can also get into a particular group and see information with respect to that group. So I am getting into my own group. Aruba Central also has some summary to offer with respect to bandwidth usage per network and also the client count per network. The earlier one, which I showed you was on a global level, and this is with respect to a particular group. Now let's move ahead and talk about the next available management options like devices, clients, et cetera. So in devices, I have around 11 switches in my environment and I can get more information about a particular switch. So let's say I get into one of my switch, 8325 leaf one. So here you have three options, summary, hardware, and AI insights. So in summary, you will get some very basic information about the switch, like its model, uh, the serial number, where it is located and who is responsible for it. We'll also get information like the serial number, the MAC address, and then uptime, uh, that is how, how long the switch has been up and running. So all these basic informations are obtained from the summary tab. We also have information about the IP address, if it is a stack or a standalone switch, and the port numbers that are up and down. So we have eight ports up and running right now in this switch. We also have some basic information about the hardware, so which can be shown in detail in the hardware section. So in the hardware section, you can see that my 8325 CPU, memory, and sensor informations. Under the client section, we also have information about the ports that are up and running. It's like a more physical view of how the switch actually looks like. And you will also have information about the clients that are connected to the switch along with their MAC addresses and IP addresses. So in the LAN, it's again, information about the ports and POE along with VLANs. So here you can see uh, specific information about which port is up and which port is down. You can also see about the lags that are up and running, the VSX lags that are up and running in the particular switch. We have also enabled some basic VSX monitoring for our switch. So this is my leaf switch in the data center. So I have some VSX monitoring in this uh, where you can get information about the lags that are enabled up and running. So the next option which we'll look into is clients. So with Aruba Central, you can monitor wired and wireless clients. It also gives visibility into a unified view of clients. Let's say you have AP switches and gateways. So now in my, in my environment, I have very less end clients. So that is where you can see very less number here. So to one of the end clients, you can see the actual data path it is taking to connect to the switch or any other device it is connected to. You will also have information about the VLANs and the IP addresses of the switch. 
central has the ability to alert us with respect to any issues with the switch. So here, just to show you, I have a small example of a switch being disconnected from my network, which central has alerted me using its serial number and the MAC address. So this is easy for the admin or anyone using the particular network to drill down to the particular switch and resolve the issue. So now let's talk about some troubleshooting that comes along with central. So here we have some basic checks like ping press, ping test and trace routes that are performed as a part of troubleshooting from central. So here you can select the type of device you want to test. You can also select the type of test you want to do, either a ping test or the trace route. And here you can give your, uh, so these are the devices that I have in my environment. So here you can select the device which you want to test and give your source and destination IP addresses. So once you give that, you will be able to test them from central. So I have an IP address here. So this will take some time. So you will be able to do this, these basic troubleshooting from central. So device check has some basic checks like uh, cable test, interface bounds, POE bounds, and chassis locate. So in this demo, I will explain you about chassis locate. So let's say you are in a data center environment working with around 50 to 100 switches and you want to find one of your switch which is having certain issues like a port flap or any switch being disconnected. So let's say you will have to find this switch and chassis locate helps us in a very effective way by blinking a very bright blue LED on the switch and making it easy for us to find it. Another interesting thing that comes into troubleshooting is the console login session. So you can get into the console session of a switch without ha having to go to the console server. So let me show you how that is done. So you can select a switch or a gateway. And I'm selecting a switch here from one of my network. And you will be able to get into the switch. So once I've given my password, and username, I was able to get into my 8325 Leaf 2 switch without even having to access the console server. So this is one excellent feature that troubleshooting feature that Central offers us. Finally, I would also like to talk about the topology. So I have drilled into a particular site that is Aruba Rose Pill. So when you get into a particular site, you have a topology view along with indicators, the green and the red indicators. These indicators, help us indicate the physical link as well as the virtual network gateways. So this makes it easy to get to the issue uh, when an admin is working on their network, be it a virtual network, I mean, be it a virtual connection or a physical connection. So topology view makes it easy for one to drill down to the issue. So that's an overall view of how Aruba Central helps us in monitoring our network built along with AOCX switches. So thank you for watching.